Welcome to Let's Play WRC 2 Extreme, Part 11. The WRC now heads for Southern Europe and the resort of San Remo on the Italian Riviera. It's similar to Corsica, with the drivers tackling rough asphalt roads along narrow mountain passes. There's little margin for error, with hard rock on one side and steep drops on the other. San Remo may be a holiday resort, but the World Rally Championship drivers won't be relaxing just yet. Yes, we are going to have two tarmac rallies in a row. Because, because. So it's time for a rally San Remo, and oh boy, that does not look promising at all. Misty, rain, rain. I have a feeling we're going to deal with some foggy conditions in this first day. Oh god. Oh boy. Well. Eh, we'll see what happens. But anyways, it's time to set up our car for this rally. So, uh, don't mind me. There we go. Everything's set up. Alright. So, time for a final tarmac rally. Spoiler alert. <clears throat> the rest are gravel. And yeah, this is going to be twisty as hell. 7.8k is for a first stage, so no super special in this rally, but let's go. Let's hope for the best. And try to uh, maybe gain some points on a Grunholm. And if not... Well, yeah. About France, isn't France Tarmac? France was like round four. That was a long time ago. That was, that was early in the championship. Oh shit, nope, get off the wall, off the wall, off the wall. Oh god, go, 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 go. We're good. Everything's fine. I'm trying to remember, like, how difficult this rally is. I think the road's a lot wider than it is, than as at Germany, but... I think it's also twistier and more difficult in general. Can't really remember though. We'll find out together, I suppose. Oh, Levi. Well, we're off to a great start, I see. Already four seconds back. Hooray. The end first stages are always pretty bad for me, so. This is just par for the course. Yeah, you know, I blame it on trying to get used to the road conditions. Yeah, that's it. That's my excuse. So yeah, nine points behind going home heading into this. Again, hoping I can actually do well in this rally. Hoping Grunholm doesn't do well, to be honest. Then there's also Gil Panisi, who is only four points behind me. And also tied with me at the end of the second sector. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's a good recovery from the lazy start to this, I suppose. Good, we're good. Hey, I'm a tenth faster than him now. Oh, don't fuck it. Okay, we didn't fuck it. Almost hit the wall. Probably would have looped my car around if I had done that. Oh god. So far, this is actually like easier to drive th around like this than uh, Germany. I hope you know what I was trying to say there, because I don't think I said it correctly. Like, yeah, it's a bit twisty, and but it's not nearly as crazy. And also, the roads are actually wide, unlike Germany. I say that as the road narrows. 
That's not that bad. Oh, hey, Test Drive is back. I see you finished recording the thing. The long thing. Ah. More uphill switchbacks. Can I start this rally with a stage win? That would be good. Then, you know, continue the good run in the rally through the rest of the eight stages. So about that game, Q? Let me guess. It just got bigger, didn't it, Q? Also, I am starting this rally with a stage win. Hey, 2.7 seconds over, I believe it was, uh, Panizzi. Oh, attempting to 100% Paradise. Yeah, that queue is going to wait a while. <laughs> I think. So there we go. I'll take the early lead over Finiti. Eight seconds over Grunholm, which is nice. Just the fact that I'm ahead of Grunholm in the rally. And Alistair McRae did not make it to the end of Stage 1. So already one car out. So uh, there's that. Oh my god. Did I mention this rally is quite twisty? As you see by the map there. So... Onward we go to, uh, stage number two. Here it's Sam Remo. Oh yeah, that's right, rain is also a thing. Luckily, fog is not a thing. At least in this stage. Stage three, you know, still could produce fog, but still. Time for rain, and therefore less grip. Oh god, a lot less grip. Oh my goodness. We're going to be sliding everywhere, boys. Oh, man. I think Mother Nature's going to fuck me here. Yeah, it is raining quite heavily. Mother Nature is quite upset. I don't think she, uh, I don't think she liked me winning stage one. I, I'm sorry. a very bad start to the stage. Just gotta adjust to the lower grip of very wet road. Me. Where are we going? And as expected, not the fastest in the first sector by a lot. Actually, I'm surprised as I'm as high as 10th, to be honest. Oh well, let's try to uh, gain some of that time back. Whoa! Let's not do that. Don't want to roll the car. Rolling the car is a very bad thing to have happen. Oh god. Making my way downtown, driving fast, blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't know. How many times do I reference that song? Like, it has to be at least once per stream. Alright, getting a little time. And also, fucking a lot of spots. Now, only Panizzi is ahead of me. In this stage. Whoa. Good recovery from the first sector. Let's continue this. By hopefully getting more time on Panisi, maybe even winning the stage. God, this is a fucking steep hill. It's gonna be fun to go fucking go around uh, the other direction in stage five. That'll be uh, quite an interesting experience.
Speaking of steep downhill switchbacks. Actually, this isn't quite as steep as I thought. But still. There we go. Leading the stage now. Getting four seconds. Close to five. Actually, around five, actually. Actually, actually. In that sector. Oh, I did not slow down nearly soon enough for that hairpin. We. No, oh no, oh no. The food companies are interacting again, uh oh. When these roasted IHOB, oh great. Fresh, never frozen. I don't know where it comes Pop Tarts and Moon Pie. Oh no. Guys, I think World War Three is happening now. All the food Twitters are, uh, they're going. Wendy's is trashed here. Wendy's is fucking delicious. Don't you, don't you even begin to be wrong about that, Jake. The heck was IHOB thinking? They're probably thinking about selling burgers. I think that's what they were thinking. Unsubbing and falling. Okay. That doesn't make you any l more right. Or any less wrong. I mean. Just saying. Wendy's is fucking delicious. You know what else is delicious? The fact that I'm gonna win this stage by six seconds. <laughs> yeah. Swag. So, yeah, once again. Pretty bad start to this stage, but I recovered to win the stage very easily. This time by six seconds. Yeah, the whole eye hob thing is like... It was sudden. It's like, wait a minute, why are they changing? What? Oh, hey, Freddy looks retired. Rip. So, I now have a nine second lead over Panizzi. 21 over Grunholm. Which is even better. And uh, let's move on to the marathon stage, which is actually pretty damn short for a marathon stage. Only 11.5 Ks, okay. But I'm seeing a lot of switchback sections, so that'll be fun. Your tongue is broken. Honestly, I want Wendy's now. I want a Baconator. <laughs> but it's 2 in the morning. Damn you. Damn you. Oh well. Anyways, let's move on to stage 3. Go. Baconator is the worst. Fuck off. Uh, excuse me? Baconator is fucking absolute deliciousness. Like, I can feel my arteries clog as I eat it, but god damn it, does it taste good? Actually, the only fast food I've been eating recently is Arby's and the occasional Taco Balco, like at work. Arby's is fucking great. Like, honestly, Arby's is probably my favorite fast food chain. Okay, second favorite behind Steak and Shake, but still. Maybe it's you who has the bad tongue, Jake. It's not a me problem, it's a you problem. Oh hey, I'm leading the stage. 
fastest in the first sector. Oh yeah. Some of the artists is awful. Oh. They're fucking like. Oh my god, the food is so good. And they have these sliders now, which are actually really fucking delicious. Even though they're simple. Fuck you guys, I'm hungry now. I haven't eaten anything all- well actually no, that's a lie. I've eaten some hamburger helper before I started streaming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh shit. There goes the uh, stage lead. For now. By the way, still raining very heavily here. Slidey slide goes the Sue, but I Oh shit. Damn it. Go. God, I'm gonna lose a lot of time. A lot of time. Yep. Okay, only fifth. But still, lost a lot of time. Still in the lead as of right. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say, still in the lead as of right now, but then that happened. Spawn in the bridge. Oh, uh, the stage is just. It's quickly going from bad to worse. And I'm doing nothing to make it better. I, I keep getting distracted by the chat. I keep looking over the chat because it's like, hey, I'm. You know, like, I care about this conversation. But in doing that, me do a crashy, crashy, spinny, spinny. And I need to stop doing the crashy, crashy, spinny, spinny. Like, immediately. So I'm trying to tell them that. Yeah, uh, most of the rain stages in this game are like sun showers. Like, heavy dark clouds, but the sun's still poking through. I, I think it's just like, I don't know. It's weird. And that's like with every rain, rainy stage as well. We. Hey guys, guess who lost in fuck a lot of time? Jesus, I lost six seconds in that sector. Okay. Well, recovery mode. Go. Let's try to gain as much of that time back as I can. Oh my god. Okay, I survived. I didn't think the hairpin was like gonna be that tight until like well past the guardrail. I was wrong. I was very wrong. And I almost died because of it. Oh. Just, oh. That was way, way too close. Mm-mm. Nope. That also cost me more time, so I'm sure I'm 20 seconds out of lead now. Uh, in the re like overall, not just in the stage. Why is this stage going so horrible for me right now? Fuck. First two stages were going so well, and then I just have to ruin everything in the course of a couple minutes. Damage control, go. Don't spin the car, goddammit. I said don't spin the car! Mildly frustrated. Bring 
at home. Hope that we don't have to deal with rain in the next six stages. That was terrible. And I'm definitely no longer in the lead. In fact, I'm probably not even on the podium anymore. I don't know. Hey, Loeb's out and Rovin Para. Well then, just getting all the retirements in this stage. Okay, still somehow in second, but I'm now 14 seconds behind Panizzi, who is the new leader. Which is not good. So let's move on to this day two service area. More rain. Oh boy. My favorite. Oh well. Let's just uh let's just get good. And uh yeah, oh, gotta repair the bodywork. There we go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. To stage four, eight point two K's of more extreme twisties. So let us focus. Let's try to close this gap on Panizzi. 14 seconds. The good news is I have like a 12 second gap on a... Uh, oh no. On a uh, Grunholm. Which will be a lot smaller after this stage. Because fog! Some intense fog. Great. Alright, well, I just gotta focus. Just gotta focus real hard. Try to see through the fog. As best as I can. Whoa. Okay, I'll take that first sector. Eight tenths slower than Panizzi, but that's fine. First sector is usually my worst sector. At least in two of the three stages of this rally thus far. Whoa, careful. so hard to keep my car away from the walls. Succeeding so far, but still got a long way to go on this stage. B is the only meme. It's the only meme we need. Bat and loss. Oh, I'll gain three tenths. There's that. Oh, that was way too close to that wall. Ooh. Loss needs to loss itself, but I like loss. It's a great move. Pay attention. Yeah, lost. So 
So uh, about a second there. It's fine. It's okay. Could have been a lot worse, thank far. Flaw. Thankfully it wasn't, that's what I was trying to say. How can we not cut? What? It's so twisty! Ooh, downhill switchbacks, Oh yeah. Very long hairpins as well. Still going very steeply downhill. Still just barely behind Panizzi. Been pretty even throughout the entire stage, I must say. Oops, I uh, slowed down way too soon. Go me. Dead stop, alright. Well. I'm getting fucked over by uh, extremely sudden loss of, or, yeah, lower, lowering of radius. Fantastic. Lost me a bunch of time and gonna lose 4.6 seconds to Panizzi. Oh damn. Oh well. But. Butts, butts, butts. Oh well. That was a good stage up until that point. Actually, that was the only bad part about the stage, really. So. Yeah, and hey, at least I uh, increased my gap over everyone behind us, so that's good. I'll take it. So, now I'm 19 seconds behind Panizzi, but I got a 21 second advantage over Grunholm in third, so that's good. So let's move on to stage number five. In Still the Rain. Here we go, the reverse of stage two. This is going to be interesting with the uh, switchbacks. Very interesting. But here we go. Still in the heavy rain. Three, two, one. And let's do it. Let's try to claw. Let's try to actually claw in some of that 19 second gap this time. That would be nice. I mean, Panizzi probably won't be much of a threat in the final three rounds, considering they're not on tarmac. But still. I would like... It's more gaining points on Grunholm than it is taking points away from Panizzi, to be honest. So I am nine points behind Grunholm, but I'm only one spot ahead. Like, I'm only gain, gaining two points at this point in the rally. So, uh... Yeah, I'd like to get that extra four points with the win. Points racing. Yeah. Oh no, the advertising boards kind of threw me off there. I don't know how and in what way, but they did. Don't let you use light posts. Light posts. What do you mean? Those things that mount to the hood of the car? They do. Put those on automatically for the night stages. Oi, Jesus. Which we'll probably see in stage six. So I just realized why the rain probably clearing up there. Go! Deeply up the hill. Up and up and up and up and up. Oh, 
Whoa. That was almost really bad. Yeah. Not gaining time. I think Rally Win is out of the question here. Nietzsche's too fast. G is too quick. So if I end up second in the round, I'm still gaining points on run home, so that's all that really matters, is that I'm gaining points on I'm not losing points. Down the mountain. Ooh, that was too close for comfort there. With the uh, rail. Yeah. Focusing on all the twisties. There's a lot of them. A lot, a lot of twisties. Oh, shit. Slow it down. It's a right six, dumbass. It also cost me a few seconds, which is not good. God. Oh, hello. Fucking loud thunder. Okay. That gave me a little spook. Just a couple, though. Oh, don't hit the rail. Oh, no. Keep it off the wall. See the finish. Oh. Holy crap, how did I lose so much time in this final sector? Fifth. Ah. I actually lost a lot of time in that final sector. Three seconds. Yeah. About that. Well, that stage kind of was mediocre. But hey, whatever. Still fifth is a good result, and I <laughs> still finished ahead of Grunholm, so there's that. Hooray. So yeah, now I'm 28 seconds behind Panizzi. That's pretty much a guarantee that he's going to win this rally. Just trying to try to keep my gap over the rest of the field. Much Carlos Sainz is now in third. And hopefully he stays there, because that means another point Grunholm loses. E. Anyways, let's do that same stage, except in the other direction. Also, probably not at night, because 5 o'clock. And before darkness. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Three, two, 
It gets dark early in the t in Italy, okay? Is the road dry? No, it is not. It is still very moist. Very moist. Oh no. That was a good start to the stage. Boy, yes. Flipping and dipping and dipping and flipping. Seventeen Going. Can't see where I'm going. Everything is dark. Hey, look, Benici's leading the stage. What a fucking shocker! Right? No grip on the wet tarmac. Right right Don't understand why regular headlights are needed if my paws are used anyway for extra light. The more lights attached, the more light you'll get, clearly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably like the same wiring through all the lights, you know. The, the normal headlights probably add, like, more horizontal light, which is useful. Also, will. No, nope, damn it, stuck on the guardrail again. Fuck. Poopy. Ah. I mean, yes, light pods definitely do most of the heavy lifting, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't need the standard headlights. Oh god. Oh, I lost a shit ton of time in that sector because of the spins and stuff. Dang. Oh man. I'm gonna break this glow. Mistake. 
But I did gain a spot. So there's that, I suppose. Damn it. Uh, I don't know, test drive. I mean, I was thinking the same thing, but with me, it wouldn't be just Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, it'd be everything. Uh. God. Stop hitting walls. Let's do a co-commentary. Oh no. Go. Quickly to the line. Uh, okay. Oh wow, third place, really? Okay. I'll take it. I was not expecting to finish that high up in the order. Alright. Well then. Works for me. And did lose six seconds, well, yeah, almost six seconds to science, but... He gained a lot of time on Grunholm, which helps me a lot. That's honestly the more important thing, is that the fact that science built a gap on Grunholm, and Grunholm lost the spot. He's down to fifth. Hehe. <laughs> Uh, this is fantastic. I still have a 15 second advantage over third. So. Looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, clear weather finally. For a third day. Well, overcast, but no rain. So. Thank god. So, to the service area, repair my body. Place the brakes and the tires and blah, and let's go. Let's go. <coughs> so, time for stage seven, first of all. <sighs> Road's gonna be dry. Visibility's gonna be clear. Let's One, fucking go. Tie the carve into that lead. I. There's no way in hell I'm catching Panizzi. The only way I think at this point I can beat Panizzi in this rally is if he retires. Like, he's way too quick. And consistently quick. My. Uh, my focus right now is just holding on to second place. That's really the only thing I'm concerned about. Do have that 15 second cushion, but yeah. Oh, still have the marathon stage to do, so. It's not that large of a cushion, considering how much driving we have left to do. I'm not used to having this grip again help. Oh, that's a wall of text I can't read. Hey, look who's fastest. It's Panizzi, yep. As I was saying. Yeah. Go. Focus on the stage. Whoop. Focus on the stage, retard. Stop looking at chat. As much as I want to interact, stop looking at fucking chat. I lost a fuckload of time. Oh my god. And that's why I need to focus. That's why I stop losing fuckloads of time. Right, four, into left, five, and right, five. One hundred, right, two, and go. Left, three, into right, three. Come 
on Suba Lu, we can recover back to hopefully maybe second in the stage. At least top five in the stage. That's a wall. Now you know. Actually, gained a good bit of time there. And we're back up to fifth in the stage, so there you go. up to second all right so we're back up to the best of the rest in the stage eight seconds behind Benizzi by the way he too quick Many advertising boards. Okay, there we go. Cross the line. Oh wow, I gained three seconds. They had a lot of people gain time there. Looks like Nisi just had a shit final sector. Still won the stage easily though. Easily. Uh, let's see. So there's results. Anyways, what was this question? Something about price child obsession. Do I have GTSR toys? Button on the roof scoop. It would make bottom. Me be be be. Oh, I have no idea what the fuck toy you're talking about. Don't. Has Benitez ever won a WRC title? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, here's the updated standings. Uh, yeah, 45 seconds now is his lead. But I have a 22 second gap on Science, and Grunholm's back up to fourth. Damn. Oh well. Oh well, still getting points on them. Anyways, time for the marathon stage. 11.5 Ks of twisty, twisty, twisties. So, to the penultimate stage of the rally. Alright. Let's do this. Uh oh, I lost the headlights. Oh no. Oh, Go! There we go. Oh, jeez. Aye. Headlights broken, literally unplayable. Yeah, I think Mother Nature has calmed down after her fucking angry tirade in the first two days of this rally. Probably she's in cahoots with Panizzi. She really wanted Jill to win. Bathroom's first sector here. Tied with Panizzi. <laughs> okay. Cool and good. Yeah, 
His turn never ends. It's the turn that never ends. Ah, oh, damn it. Whoops. That's not how you do that. Ooh, jeez, that's also not how you do that. Oh, Jesus. Fucking damn it. Well, there goes any chance I had of winning this stage. That is for sure. Really, only two seconds back after all that. Huh. Well, damn. I think I could be leading the stage had I not crashed into those things. I love when you look over the side of a cliff and you see nothing but sky. That's not frightening at all. Oh, dead wall, okay. I remember this bridge. I spawned at this bridge going the other way. Okay, what to do? Uh, you should... I don't know. Edit things. Render 20 videos tonight. Make a new contract, so clearly. Postcom is annoying. I know, I tried it before. Oh, you fuck. Live reactions are better. Makes like 2008 use text. Not just any text, movie maker text. Gotta do that epic uh, Windows Movie Maker anime music video to uh, whatever fucking edgy song is popular right now. I don't even know. Oh, dude, it's an infinite theme. That'd be perfect. Oh. Okay. I'm leading the stage. Why? Why? How? Oh Jesus! Oh, the most important thing about your uh, yeah, yeah. your uh, AMV, you gotta have the text be the same color as the background. That is a very important step in making the perfect video. More hairpins! All the hairpins! Give me more! I want a stage made out of entirely hairpins. As the only turn. Types of type of turn. It's just hairpins. <laughs> Unregistered hypercam 2. Oh god.
That's what I need to do for my next LP. Play some on emulator, unregistered hype. No, let's get more meta. Play some on emulator and record it in portrait mode with my phone. <laughs> there we go. That would be perfect. Anyways, I won the stage. Nice. I mean, it's not gonna help me help my chances of actually winning the rally, but hey, I won a stage, so that's cool. It's pretty much solidified second place for me, so that's good. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So let's move on to our final 7.8 Ks of the Rally San Remo. Let's go. Let's go. Type in the notepad poorly. Oh, God. That reminds me. Oh, hey, night stage. The fucking notepad thing reminds me of, uh, Walter's, uh, Call of Duty Ghost download tutorial. It's a fucking fantastic video. It needs to be seen. It's, it's too good to not be seen. Speaking of seeing, I can't. I can't see anything. I'm gonna have to feel my way around this final stage. See John, oh god. Half a second now to lead. Fourth place. Oh man. What the fuck, test drive? <laughs> Broke a headlight, single-handedly ruining sim racing. God, I can't believe I'm ruining every person's experience of eye racing by playing this game. How fucking dare I? That's why Jimmy doesn't touch me anymore. Kappa. Oh, Jesus. We're good. We're good. We're good. Tire racing has a corrupted tire model right now. Yeah, it's my fault. It's because I broke a headlight in this game. It's my fault. Her, her. You know what would be great? I actually kind of want to interact with another elitist again. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun just face palming at him. Really? I mean, I hate that those people exist, and it makes me sad about the future of humanity, but I like fucking with stupid people, okay? Turn kept going. That's LS swapping RX7. Oh fuck yeah! LS swapped the world. Damn, this is a close stage. Everybody's just right there. Very competitive. That's right. Arrow hates that joke. Ella right, swap a rotary. That's sacrilege. Nah, Ella swap the world, Jake. I would, I would put an LS in a Viper, just for shits and giggles. Well, this stage was very competitive until the last sector. 
Then me and Panizzi just kind of pulled away. Whoopsie. About that. So. Oh, it wasn't even Panizzi. It was Science. Okay. <laughs> sure. Science won the stage. Nice. That was an interesting way to end this uh, rally. But. It doesn't matter about Science winning the stage. Michi still gets the very dominant win. Now I get a very dominant second place, and Science gets third, Grunholm fourth, so I'm gonna gain like what? Three points on him, I think. So there's that. So uh, let's just make another save. Just in case. Yes, overwrites, thank you. So yeah, here's the points everyone's getting. Manufacture points. Hey, Subaru gets the most. Get fucked. And we've unlocked Chrome. Cheat code. Gee, I wonder what that does. Hmm, I don't know. We'll find out in the extra video. So here are the updated point standings. Um, I'm now only six behind Grunholm. And I'm also tied with Panizzi, but I'm not really worried about Panizzi because the rest of the rallies are gravel and he sucks at gravel. So, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about that. So, and there are the updated manufacturer standings. Back, Subaru back within 10 points per Joe. So there we go, three rounds to go. This is uh, shaping up to be quite a championship battle. So um, with that, stay tuned for the next rally and stuff, yeah.